to the next uh, speaker, Mr. Krishna Mehta. He's head of business development, Perfect Infra Engineers Limited. Uh, he brings wealth of experience, expertise to the table with a Bachelor's of Engineering from Sadar Patel, Institute of Technology and Electronics and Telecommunication. Uh, Mr. Krishna, please. Uh, hello. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, so I'm here from Perfect Infra Engineers, and I'm here to talk about uh, the one and only, the first and only green air conditioning solution of the country. Uh, so I think the problem here is fairly obvious, and I think everybody on the stage has already spoken about it, uh, that the world is getting warmer. And one of the biggest problems there is air conditioning. What I want to focus here is on the last line, uh, is that it is, it, is, uh, you know, uh, it is expected that by 2050, 45% of our peak load is going to be air conditioning. That's a massive number and which is today, I, we, we call it the elephant in the room when it comes to green, greenifying our, our nation. And today there is no sustainable green solution which is catering specifically to air conditioning. Of course, you can you know, generate electricity as you know, uh, the previous uh, speakers were saying, you require four acres of land for just one megawatt of you know, generation. So the building rooftop is almost never enough to generate for your, for your load for the entire building. And uh, you, you require sol solutions to reduce the consumption itself rather than just generate uh, you know, using green solutions. So this is one such solution which we think that you know, can change the way India cools. Uh, you know, this graph clearly shows that, you know, China and India are going to, you know, take the lead uh, into, you know, take, consuming more and more energy, which is predominantly air conditioning over the next coming decades. So what, what is our solution here? Uh, we call it the HTS panel. It's short for Hybrid Thermal Solar Panel. It's a long name. I'll explain each of those words. Uh, why solar? Because, you know, we're using the energy of the sun. But it is not to be confused with PV panels, you know, we do not generate any electricity here. There is no silicon inside our product. Uh, this product is actually R&D, you know, it, it has been developed in the, in, in the America um, by a company called SunTrack Solar. Uh, it has been started since 2008. It took over 15 years for them to perfect the technology today. Uh, we have been associated with them since the last five, six years. And uh, the manufacturing of this product is completely made in India. Uh, this is not an imported, uh, you know, it is not an imported product, it's just an imported technology. Uh, we manufacture this completely in our factory, which is in Navi, Mumbai. So what, what is this technology? So before we get into how it works, I just want you to imagine what it looks like. I'll skip a few slides. Uh, this is the physical construction 3D model of the actual product. Uh, what you see in front of you is a black box. It is 8 feet by 4 feet. It's a large black box. It weighs around 90 kilos each. Uh, those black lines that you see here, these black lines are actually copper pipes. These are the same copper pipes that are there inside your air conditioner, you know, uh, the copper pipes running between your indoor and the outdoor. It's the same copper pipes for any refrigeration cycle. This refrigerant gas flow act physically flows through the panel that we have here. And below these copper pipes are mirrors. These are parabolic mirrors which can focus the light of the heat and light of the sun into these copper pipes. And that's why we call this the thermal solar panel, because we are generating heat here, again, not electricity. Now, what do we do with this heat? Now, using heat of the sun is not a very novel idea. You know solar water heaters which heat water, very obvious solution, solar cookers which heat food. Our solution is very specific, catering to air conditioning, and there is a reason why there is nobody else doing this. Because in this, so this is a refrigeration cycle on the top right you can see. This is the same for, you know, you take a one ton AC in your house probably, and you can take a large chiller, you know, which is there in this hotel probably. The, the, the refrigerant cycle is the same. It is the same which when it was in, invented around 100 years ago by carrier in the US. It's been the same since then. What we're doing here is we're changing it slightly. It's the first time in history of air conditioning somebody has tried to change or make a small difference into this refrigeration cycle itself. So what are we doing here? In this cycle, what you have inside your air conditioner, 90%, 80 to 90% of the consumption is because of the compressor. It's a, it's a component inside the AC. This compressor's job, I will not get into you know, core physics of it, but the compressor's basic job, as the name suggests, is to increase pressure 
and thereby increase temperature. So it is essentially adding energy into the refrigerant cycle, which is then you know going into the condenser where heat is lost. I don't know you know how many of you are from science background, but you know the heat is lost at the condenser. The gas comes back in the room. It expands. Expansion causes cooling, and that's why you get cold air inside your room. Now this compressor is what is consuming 90% of your energy. This compressor's job is where our product comes into the picture. So this job of adding energy, heat and pressure into this refrigerant cycle is where our product comes in. So what we're doing here is essentially helping the compressor reduce its work. So if the compressor was supposed to do you know, 100 units of added energy, for example, our panel, our unit adds heat and pressure from the sun, how much ever available, and reduces its speed. So our, our basic requirement is we require an inverter compressor, meaning the compressor can slow itself down. So uh, you know there are two types of compressors. One is a fixed speed compressor, which cannot slow down. What we require, which today I think 95% of installations are inverter based, which is you know the compressor can slow down. So once we install our technology into any existing air conditioner, when we, started, we start adding energy from the sun, the compressor slows down, essentially doing the work of a compressor. Now, why this is unique is, and coming back to uh, you know, why you know, it is not as simple as a solar water heater, is because in this refrigerant cycle, you take, for example, a VRF air conditioner. The refrigerant gas that runs inside the AC is called a R410 gas. That runs at around 450 PSI of pressure. That is an extremely high amount of pressure. For example, your car tire is around 30, 32 PSI. This is 450 PSI. So at this high pressure and temperature, if you are adding an uncontrolled amount of heat, there's a very high chance your AC will fail. You, you cannot just add heat as and when required. So what our technology is and why it is unique is because we are controlling the amount of heat that is added into the system. Our technology has multiple sensors, which are not visible here, but our, our technology does two things. One is it has sun tracking sensors, essentially it knows where the sun is. And second and more importantly, it has multiple temperature sensors inside our, inside our box, which can understand the requirement of your AC and add heat accordingly. And then depending on the amount of heat we add, the compressor slows down. You save a peak, which what we have seen in real use cases, a peak of up to 60% of energy savings in air conditioning load. This is the, essentially, we can convert any AC you give us, as long as it's inverter and on the terrace, obviously, any AC you give us into the most efficient AC on the planet, hands down. So that is the technology that we have here. And I, I'll get into you know, where it has been used uh, you know, in terms of application. So just basic use case, uh, this one unit, which is eight feet by four feet, as I said, 32 square feet, uh, it is designed for seven and a half tons of air conditioning, or around eight tons. For, for, from, for, for a VRF, it is around 10 HP of VRF. And then it is scalable, as you can see, uh, so, no, so one unit can be used for 8 or uh, you know, 10 HP, and then 20 HP is 2 units, and f you know, 50 HP is 5 units, etc. We have done projects of up to 800 HP till date, the largest one, which, you know, 70 odd panels were there on the terrace, which is in Mumbai. If anybody's from Mumbai, you're ready to visit. Similarly, the same thing stands for chillers as well. The refrigerant cycle remains the same. The gas changes, which is R134A gas, which again is compatible with our technology. So just, you know, uh, you know, uh, basic benefits, covering the basic benefits. One I've already, you know, uh, mentioned. Up to a peak of 60% energy savings is what, is what we have seen. But of course, you know, a lot of you know, everybody knows that, you know, rainy season or, you know, winters, the air conditioning consumption is low, sunlight availability is low. So what we say is, on an average over the year, we save up to 25 to 40% of your electricity load. That is a massive amount of electricity, as you can imagine. The life of our product is around 15 years, uh, which is much, much more than what your AC you know, will work for. But of course, you can shift the panel into the next AC you buy. That is totally possible. You can retrofit it later on. Uh, the third point here, I'll come into the next slide. It is a very interesting comparison to make, although it's not an apple-to-apple -apple comparison, but I will still make it. We give a five-year warranty with our product, uh, which is essentially the ROI, the return on investment, comes around three, maybe four years. So it is our responsibility until you get your money back you know, it is, we will take care of the product. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, supported by basic AC manufacturers. A lot of them support, uh, some of them are still in progress. Uh, since we don't manufacture the actual AC of yours, this is compatible with the gas itself. Not the brand, it is not brand specific. You know, you give us R140 
410 gas or 134 a gas, this is compatible. It doesn't matter what brand of AC you use, the, the physics behind the AC remains the same. So it doesn't matter what brand it is. One very interesting side benefit of our product is that once we install this technology, we are essentially reducing the work of the AC itself, the compressor itself. And when does your AC work its hardest? It is during peak summers. That's when most of your failures happen. That's when most of your issues are created in your, in your air conditioning system. Since we are taking care of the peak load when it comes to air conditioning, a very interesting side benefit that comes out to our clients is that your life of your machine, the maintenance of your machine improves drastically. So if your machine is supposed to work for 10 years, installing this technology, it will maybe work for 13, maybe 15 years. Because, you know, it is, very, it is very obvious that, you know, if you use your machine lesser, the life improves, as simple as that. So uh, the third point here, so a, a lot of your, you know, a lot of you guys are consultants, architects here. People talk about COP when it comes to air conditioning, which is coefficient of performance. It is essentially how efficient your machine is. You know, you had your old, you know, uh, 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 fixed speed high walls in your homes, which is probably 2, 2.5 COP. Today, you get 3, 3.5 COP inverter machines. VRFs today are 4, maybe 4.2, 4.5 COP. Chillers, you know, more efficient chillers, people call around 5, maybe 5.5 COP, which is the most efficient you can get. When we install this technology in any, uh, you know, air conditioner you can give us, uh, the COP crosses 6, which today no other technology in, in the world can claim. So it is essentially, as I said, the most efficient AC you can find. Of course, you have to have those basic requirements met, you know, the space on the terrace and, you know, the inverter side of things. Apart from that, once the basic sense check is done, you can convert essentially any AC into a green AC, as we call it. And at, at end of life, this product is completely made up of aluminum and copper and stainless steel. So at end of life, it is almost completely recyclable, except for a few electrical components. So that itself is a, you know, interesting benefit to have 20 years down the line when the life is done. This was the slide I was talking about. Although it is not directly comparable and it should not be directly compared, uh, our job is different. We don't generate electricity, but we are using the same space on your terrace. You know, your terrace uh, availability of space is, you know, constant. That does not change. So, you know, just for comparison, a PV panel today, this is the general, uh, you know, thumb rule we call that 100 square feet of space is required for one kilowatt of installation. This is a normal thumb rule. Of course, it goes up and down. That means, you know, uh, our one panel, which is 33 odd square feet, uh, it is one third of that. So around 300, 350 watts of installation of PV panels you can do in 30 square feet of space. Our one panel is installed on an 8 to 10 ton air conditioning load. That means our one product by saving 40%, we don't generate electricity, but we save up to 3,500 watts of electricity in the same space. So we are 12 times more efficient than a PV panel. Although, uh, as I said, it's not comparable. But if your aim is to make maximum use of your terrace, this does 12 times the work. It's not 12, 10, 15%. It is 1,200% more efficient when, it, when it's compared by a space, only space. Anyways, so... What I, what's, in, what's important for the country here is that, you know, in summers, in peak summers, and we will see that in the next one, two months, the newspaper talk about load shedding when it comes to discoms, you know, distribution companies of electricity. And why does that only come in summers? It's because the peak consumption of the country is always during peak heat of summers because that is air conditioning. So the biggest problem that the discoms of the country, even the Indian government for that matter, faces when it comes to electricity is the peak consumption of air conditioning. And that is where our product shines because at peak consumption, we can cut electricity consumption by 60% in your air conditioner. Essentially, in, you know, not requiring to put more, I would say, thermal power plants or solar power plants because a lot of them, the top 20% is just catering to the peak load. Below that, it is not even used during the year. Just the peak load is what we want to cut down here. So the consumption itself has to go down. It, it does not have to be generated via green sources. So, you know, we have all green uh, building certifications here. Green Pro certified, uh, IGBC recognizes. GRIA certified, it is a make in India product. So it, it checks all the basic boxes that most, you, most of you people might want. Getting to, you know, where all we have installed this technology. So these are some of our clients who have already installed. 
in fact some of our clients are sitting right here in, you know in this in this room and it is all approved by them they have tested this technology they've used it they, it is it is very simple to check what is this what this technology is doing just put an energy meter on your machine install this technology and you will see the difference you know before and after it is as simple as that and all of these clients that are mentioned here have done the same similarly these are our government clients in fact one of our large majority of our sales happen to governments uh, pwd of maharashtra for example is our largest client today they have installed this product in at least one dozen you know projects all across the state of maharashtra even gujarat government even chatisgarh a lot of uh, PWDs have already started using this technology. Similarly, PSUs are now coming up, standing up and saying that, you know, we have to save electricity and they have gone and, you know, done so. It, Delhi NCR region itself has a lot of our installations, if, you know, anybody wants to see. Uh, this is all, you know, from the uh, technology perspective uh, inside of things. Now, basic, you know, what, for example, uh, you know, our clients write to us once the installation is done. This is LNT, very recent installation, probably a few months ago. It is in Surat, it's their factory, around 60 tons of AC they gave us to start off with. And this is the mail that is written to us by LNT. This is not us claiming, this is the mail they wrote to us, where, you know, before our panel was installed, their consumption was around 4,500 kilowatts for that week. Immediately after installation, the consumption dropped to around 2,300 kilowatts. So this is just a basic energy meter telling you what this product is capable of. And this was not even peak heat. It was somewhere in the month of January, if I remember. Uh, sorry, it's in, it's in November, uh, in the month of November, which is fairly cold. Similarly, you know, we have hundreds of, uh, dozens of such installations. ICICI Bank has installed in, in Delhi itself. Similarly, Asahi Glass, this is All India Energy head of Asahi Glass claiming the savings he has seen. And Procter and & Gamble and Adani and Honda has installed in multiple factories. Mahindra has installed multiple factories. So these are the kind of clients uh, you know, that we have. As, as I said, the governments who have already started installing. So Rajasthan government has installed in their secretariat building. Chhattisgarh government has installed in their Vidhan Sabhas. So all prestigious installations we call Gujarat government has done the same. Similarly, a lot of these uh, municipal corporations have started you know, uh, taking up these initiatives to make their buildings green. Uh, that's it from my side. If you have any questions, which I'm sure you have, you can, yes, sir, go on. Uh, 